Assalamu alaikum. So look, this is getting ridiculous with these trolls. They keep coming in. <clears throat> now I do I have social media and I use it to communicate with people around the world because that's it's a really good, easy way to communicate with people around the world. The problem is all these trolls out there, seriously, they keep coming into Muslim platforms, to Muslim pages. And to Muslim groups where we're trying to promote good goodness and well-being amongst ourselves, charity amongst ourselves, and it has nothing to do with any anybody else other than that. There's these people who constantly come in on purpose, and they come in there talking about all your problems would be fixed if you would just admit to the one true God, Jesus Christ. That's literally what someone said. The one true God, Jesus Christ. If you would accept that Jesus is your God and Savior, your problems would be over. I'm absolutely getting sick of this. Just stay on your own page. Or go to a debate page. Stop stalking and being a disgusting troll. It's annoying and honestly it is funny. But at the same time it's sad because... The hellfire is hot, and shirk is an unforgivable sin. When you die upon shirk, saying that Jesus is God, you don't go up, you go down. Jehannam is very clear. That's not my opinion. That's not what I'm saying. I don't go around telling people you're going to go to hell like the Christians do. They walk around handing out their pamphlets. If you don't believe in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, did you know you're going to go to hell and uh, that's all it is to them. Just mind your business. But the thing that gets me is when they say that, I can respond to them. I say, okay, show me in the Bible where it says that Jesus is God and Savior and I'll consider a religion change. They're like, well, you have to read and take the context from this and that and all this stuff. Okay, show me one context and... Something a lot of them use is the part where he said, uh, I tell you, before Abraham, I am. Okay, why did, why does that, how does that mean he's God? They say, well, at Moses in the burning bush, God said, I am that I am. So here Jesus said, before Abraham, I tell you, I am. That means that he's saying he's God. Well, like you said, for us to read context, let's read the context of that one verse right there. What is it talking about? They're accusing him of being a liar because he said he was a messenger and prophet of God Almighty, that he carried the message of God Almighty, and that he was sent by God Almighty. They said, no, surely this is magic, you're lying. He said, no, I swear before Abraham, I am. I'm telling the truth, I swear before Abraham, I am. Let's put that in context. Before Abraham, the Abrahamic religions are what? God Almighty, the prophets, the same prophets that are in the Torah, the Gospel, the Psalms, the Quran. I'm telling the truth before Abraham, as witness, I am. I am telling the truth, not I am God. That is the only thing that makes sense if you want to... Um, <clears throat> If if you want to uh, look at it, because all it could possibly be anyway is an interpretation, okay? Interpretation. You have to take that verse and interpret it and create a concept from it, no matter how you go about it. The reason my interpretation makes more sense and is possibly m definitely more of the truth than him saying I am God is the one to... Three, four, five, six, seven. I, you know what? I don't have enough hands or time to count the verses that I have marked in my Bible where the, Jesus Christ in the Bible literally says, I am not God. Do not worship me. I am sent by God. I am a servant of God. I serve God. He is my God who is your God. I, I am a messenger of God. I am a prophet of God. <clears throat> I worship God. 
I'll teach you how to worship God. I came to uphold the Torah. I came not to change the Torah. I could go on and on and on and on and on and on all day without running out of context on these verses from the Bible where he literally says he is not God, that he is not to be worshipped. There is one God, one God to be worshipped. You are playing with fire by interpreting things that make no sense with their interpretations. So by that, take that information, shut up, stop harassing us because it's very annoying. And once you've been put in your place and you've been told the truth about it, you, re you, 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 result you go to insults and all this other kind of stuff because you can't argue with it because it's hard to argue with truth people are scared of the truth so what do they do they go to insults they get violent hostile you know what just stay out of our space okay if you want information if you want to learn even if you want to debate there's a time and a place for that but why do you come trying to spread negativity on things that are meant to be positive hmm? because you're evil your hearts are hardened you're ignorant. You're blind. Deaf, dumb, and blind. They will be led astray. Okay? That's all I got to say. Um, learn to read. Read the whole book. You know, if I could read the whole Bible all the way through to where I can understand that everything the belief of the Christians is based on is literally interpretations and man-made concepts of these interpretations, you should be able to read it and figure it out for yourself. You know, <laughs> anyway, have a great day. Assalamu alaikum.